Hi everyone, my name is Tiffany Rosenbaum and I'm starting a new channel. I am a full-time work-at-home mommy and a part-time reseller on the side and today's video is going to be about why I left network marketing to become a reseller. So I haven't really left network marketing yet. I'm still doing it but not really actively doing it so I'm not focusing on it. I was doing network marketing for almost seven years. Next month will be my seven year anniversary of doing network marketing. And I'm not going to say what company I'm with just because I don't want anybody to think that I'm bashing the company. I still really, really love the company. Um, I just don't, I'm not focusing on it um, mostly anymore. And I'm going to just explain why I decided to move on to focusing on reselling and how it's benefited me and what I like better about reselling. The very first thing that um, I like more about reselling versus network marketing. So in network marketing, you technically have your own business, you can follow as your own business, but you, you, you aren't really your own boss. And so, at least in the company that I was with, in the company that I was with, had a lot more leeway, but also they had a bigger moral compass than a lot of other companies. So they had certain policies in place so that um, they were just more ethical and more moral than a lot of other companies. And so when I say that I wasn't my own boss, I, I just, there were things with the company that I couldn't do that I would have wanted to do that I really didn't have as much say on as I would have wanted to if I was truly my own boss like I am with reselling. So I started reselling back in the summertime during COVID. I had just had my baby girl um, and there was a lot of things that I couldn't do, anybody couldn't do really with COVID and um, my business with network marketing involved going out and meeting people and seeing people, having appointments with people, it involves a lot of face-to-face. -face. Um, you can do it virtually, but your sales are higher face-to-face. -face. So that put a damper on things and having a newborn, I really didn't want to be around a lot of people. I didn't want to expose her. So I looked into reselling. I There's a cat on my TV. I didn't mean there was a cat on my TV screen. I meant like there was a physical cat on top of my TV. So I also have a kitten who is at least six days older than my baby, so he gets into everything. Anyway, so where were we? So being my own boss, I, uh, with reselling, I turned to reselling uh, as a way to make income from home, having a newborn, and I didn't necessarily need to leave the house. So I turned to platforms like eBay and Mercari, and I just recently got into Facebook Marketplace. Um, and so I created my own Facebook group as well where I sell items in and I don't necessarily need to leave the house to source those items. Um, and so part of being my own boss with the company that I was with in network marketing, it had one of the highest commission rates out of any other network marketing company. We made 50% of everything we sold, but I was capped at 50%. And a lot of times it would be lower because of your cost of shipping, your cost of business supplies, things of that nature that would come out of my 50% profit. So the most I could ever make was 50. Uh, typically it was 40% and I was capped at that, sometimes less if I wanted to run a sale or something like that. So with reselling, my profits and some items can be totally unlimited. Like I set the price that I want to sell it for. It's not, the price isn't set at what the company says I can sell it for. I can purchase something for $1 if I find it at a good place and I can sell it for several hundred. So my percentage profit is much higher. Um, I don't typically like to buy anything when I'm reselling that I can't make more than 50% profit on. So I set my profit um, and that's not set by a company. So that's a way where I'm truly my own boss. I get to dress how I want. That might sound silly, but like I said, my company had very set guidelines on how they wanted their consultants to be seen. 
and it is a beauty company and and my team that I was on um, it was you had to look a certain way and I mean nothing would happen if you didn't look a certain way but obviously we were seen better if you looked a certain way and uh, it's kind of hard to look that way sometimes when you're a mom and you have two crazy kids and a bunch of crazy animals and so I like that in this um, reselling, you know, I don't have to look a certain way when I go out to garage sales. I don't have to look a certain way when I go out. I don't have to worry about, do I need to look cute so that I can talk to this woman to try and sell her my products? Like, I don't have to worry about that. A lot of the times when I am home and getting orders, I don't, you know, I'm in my pajamas, you know. I don't have to worry about what I'm wearing when I go out to the post office to ship my items. So I love that I can I can literally wear whatever I want, and, you know, within reason. I'm not going to go out in my pajamas. Some people do. I don't. Um, I, I'm not told where I can sell my items. So the company that I was with was very, very strict on where you could sell them and how you could sell them. And not many network marketing companies have as many restrictions. They are a little bit more open. But our company is very, very adamant on their brand recognition, where they want their brands to be sold, how they want their brands to be sold. And I respect that and I get that, but it makes it harder in a way to sell those products. Being my own boss with reselling, I can literally sell wherever I want. As long as that platform has, you know, guidelines saying. So I do sell a lot of supplements. Whereas, like, Facebook, you can't sell supplements or healthcare items. Mercari, you can't. eBay's pretty much open game. I can sell also what I want in my groups. I don't have to be told, hey, you can't sell here. So that's really, really nice that I can sell what I want where I want. And I don't have to be told that I can't. In reselling, I make my own goals. And in my network marketing, I had my own goals as well. Some of them were kind of like sales goals that the company would put out, hey, if you meet this goal, then you get this. But I always felt that, because it's kind of a tier, that if I didn't hit the goals, I was letting someone else down. And a lot of the times, I felt as though I had to hit those goals for somebody else and not for me. Or I would feel like a failure if I didn't hit those goals because I would tell somebody, hey, this is my goal, and if I didn't hit that goal in sales, Oftentimes, I would put my own money in to hit that goal. And this sounds silly, but I feel like I was doing it for somebody else and not for me. And with reselling, I have my own goals. So if I hit that goal, awesome. If I don't hit that goal, I'm not letting anybody else down. And I really do like that with the reselling. There's no quotas in this reselling game. I mean... There's, you know, my company likes to say there's no quotas and like you're not going to get kicked out if you don't hit a quota or anything like that, but we do have a certain goal, like you, not a goal, a certain amount that we would have to sell every so often in order to keep our discount and without your discount you don't make profit. I don't have to hit so much sales every couple of months. If I do, awesome. If I don't, I don't and that's totally on me. I feel like it's just much easier to make profits as a reseller. There are multiple places that I can get my product from. I, you know, with obviously network marketing, you're only getting your products from one place. So I do really like that. Um, with network marketing, I felt like the process from like getting an item to making the sale is kind of a long process because at least in the company that I was with, um, we sold primarily face-to-face. -face. Sometimes you could, you know, sell online if you have an established customer. But in order to get those customers, because we're so limited on where we could sell, what we could do, how we could promote, it was really hard. You had to basically go out and market yourself and get customers. But we had a policy in place to where um, we didn't take other consultants customers so we would ask them do you already have a consultant and if they did we, we wouldn't sell to them because of the loyalty that you know our consultants likes to have so that made it very limited on who we could sell to as well so we had to go out and get customers make sure they didn't have a consultant um, and sometimes you know then we would book them for an appointment 
and a lot of times those appointments wouldn't hold or we'd have to reschedule and there'd be a lot of time in between and you weren't guaranteed a sale at the appointment you would demo all these products and you weren't guaranteed a sale so you would be putting in a lot of work and you weren't guaranteed a sale whereas with reselling you know i buy the items I take the pictures of the items and I listen to whatever platforms I want and my audience, my pool of people I can sell to is thousands, millions, whoever sees or looks at those platforms could potentially buy my product. So it's a lot easier to make money that way. It's just a lot easier I feel um, that those are some of the main reasons why I chose to focus less on network marketing and focus more on reselling i really feel like for my the way my family is right now having the baby and being able to be home it's just easier to make money that way um and i can just do whatever i want and i don't have to be limited in what i can do what i can wear where i can find customers um, how much i can charge my customers and i can still get reorders if people like my product they like how fast they ship they like how nicely i ship my products they like my customer service they'll follow my stores um in my facebook group i have people reordering all the time whenever i post new products they're ordering um they're purchasing and i just feel that i really really like reselling it's really good for me right now and if you guys want to know more about reselling let me know i plan to post more videos um, I have a box coming in that I'm going to be unboxing uh, as soon as it comes in later on this week, maybe the beginning of next week, depending on when it gets here. And I'm just going to share my journey with you and hopefully inspire you to do it too if you want to. Um, it's an easy way to make money. It's a quick way to make money. And like I said, for the most part, you choose what you charge. Obviously, you want to look at what the market's uh, going for those items, but you can decide what you sell in that market and who you sell to. So um, I hope you guys like this video. Go ahead and subscribe. If you want to subscribe, give it a thumbs up, uh, leave a comment, and I will see you next time. Bye.